My name is Jack Lucero. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. I completed my undergraduate degree in biochemistry at Brigham Young University, and I'm currently a second year medical student uh, in the DC area at George Washington University. Originally, uh, the first time I completed an internship was back in 2019, and it was through a program at uh, Brigham Young University, and I wanted to do a health policy internship. So when I was searching for them through a database, actually at my school, Men's Health Network was one of the most popular ones that popped up for that. And so I applied for that, and I did that in the summer of 2019. And most recently, I came back uh, because I really enjoyed my first round here. And at uh, GW, for my MD program, there is uh, what's called a scholarly concentration program, which is essentially like electives within their curriculum. And I am part of the health policy scholarly concentration. And between my first and second year, I needed to complete a internship that was focused on health policy. And so I decided to reach back out to Men's Health Network and see if I could come back. And they uh, gladly accepted me back. And I was really grateful to be able to come back and work in the office. I was a health policy research intern. Um, I was kind of on three projects, I guess, during my time. The first one was to help edit a book that MHN had written about 10 years ago called Heartbeat. It focuses on cardiovascular health, which I'm personally very interested in, so I was really happy to help with that. But they were just updating it um, since it's about 10 years old. They were updating the guidelines, some of the statistics and practices that have changed over the years. So I was helping in those edits. The second project was uh, in June during Men's Health Month. I helped kind of organize a little bit of the um, proclamations that we received. Um, and then the last project I was on was to help promote HR 5986, which is the Men's Health, and, uh, the Men's Health Awareness and Improvement Act. And I would go on Capitol Hill with some of the other interns and pretty much pitch the bill to members of Congress and their legislative aides and directors to try and get them to support that bill, which was to open up an Office of Men's Health. Um, I'll talk about two. The first memory was actually during my first internship, and that was doing the health screenings on Capitol Hill. That was a really great experience to be able to go there, set up our, our little station in the Senate office buildings and, and the House office buildings. And then we were able to do um, like just little blood tests, uh, standard BMI, height and weight things for uh, members of the community and then also people who worked on the Hill. Um, so that was a really great experience during my first time here. Unfortunately, the security protocols have changed and we were not able to do that this summer. Um, so this summer was more focused on kind of that policy side and my favorite memories were definitely going on Capitol Hill with the uh, other members of the MHN team and meeting with the uh, different legislative aides and directors. It was always fun to just go in the offices and uh, get kind of like personalized tours of the Capitol. That was pretty cool because that's kind of closed down. Um, so just kind of those behind the scenes kind of scenarios that we were able to experience, those were really great. As I mentioned, uh, I'm part of that health policy scholarly concentration. And obviously uh, being in med school, I, I want to be a doctor. Um, but as I progress in my career, I want to also focus on trying to be involved with health policy more. I think it's kind of interesting that the people who are in charge of making health policy very rarely have any actual experience or expertise in the healthcare field. It's usually just these politicians who we rely on. And I think it's important to have people who have actually experienced the healthcare field, who are knowledgeable about it, who've gone to school for it, to be involved in that healthcare policy making. And that's kind of my goal to, to be able to, to voice my opinions on things that I, I'll be able to experience while I'm actually a, a physician and, and practicing. MHN is a unique experience because of its location. There really is only one place that you can be um, to have an experience on Capitol Hill, and that's in the DC area. Um, and so MHN offers that experience to anybody who wants to be able to go in and work with members of Congress, work with their legislative aides and directors, and to be directly involved in that policy making. Um, I remember when I was thinking about internships, 
um, and applying to medical school, I thought maybe I should go and work at a hospital or something. I'm um, still in the DC area, but then I thought, well, I could kind of go and work at a hospital anywhere I wanted. I could go back to Colorado, where I'm from, or Utah, where I did my undergrad, and there's hospitals everywhere, but there's only one DC. Um, and so MHN, with its location being here, it offers you that experience that you can only get here. Um, so for anybody who is interested in being on Capitol Hill, having a presence there, uh, MHN is a great choice for that.